Are you struggling to make meaningful connections on dating apps? Or are you struggling to make any connection on a dating app? Well, stick around because in this video, we're go I'm going to give you 10 tips to amp up your profile and get what you want. Let's get started. Tip number one, have a great current profile picture. You want to make sure that you're smiling. You're not in a group. It's not cut off from your most recent ex or the ex from a long time ago or your group of college buddies. You want to make sure it's separate. No sunglasses. Try to wear some brighter colors, even if you're not a bright color person. The neutral tones get lost in the shuffle of sorting through all the pictures. Make sure that you have one full length total body shot. Also include some pictures of you doing things. One of your hobbies, maybe you're a skier or a fisherman or a writer. It's great to give your potential dates some idea of what you like to do in your free time anywhere you can on your profile. Tip number two, write a brief but catchy headline of who you are and what you're looking for, whatever that may look like to you. I'm an old dude sitting on a couch and I want somebody to eat tater tots with me. I'm headed to hike the Himalayas next year and I'm looking for someone to join me. Whatever it may be for you, give them some idea of who they're talking to. Tip number three, pay attention to spelling and punctuation rewrite and review and make sure it's accurate. Tip number four, complete your whole biography. I know this isn't easy to do. This is the reason why I usually don't get started on apps because I don't finish the biography. It seems like so many pieces of information and I'm not even sure of some of them, but do the best you can. Show your personality, write it in your voice, exactly the way you would talk to them if they were in front of you. Because really, this is a first date. It's your first impression. Write about your passions. What makes you, you? What gets you excited? And be specific. When you talk about hiking, are you liking hiking in the rain or hiking in the desert? When you talk about going out to dinner, do you like Burger King or do you like to explore foods and pick different restaurants? And be playful if you can, if that's in your personality as much as you can. Ask them questions. Do you like sunrise or sunset? Do you like dogs or cats? Do you like watching rom-coms or adventure? so that you have a good idea already of whether you're going to be a match or not. Tip number five, ask your friends and people that know you well to help you with your profile. It's really difficult to get to some of those things that you take for granted about you that might be really interesting to the woman of your dreams. Tip number six, be honest. Don't set up any expectations that you aren't going to be able to fulfill and don't have any expectations that they're not going to be able to fill, fulfill. Be honest. Talk about your lifestyle. Talk about the things that matter to you, not what you think might matter to them or what they might want to do. Be yourself. It's going to benefit you the most in the long run. Tip number seven, keep it updated. You might change it every couple of days, just so people returning know that you're looking at it. Some women go weeks just having conversations with men that never ask them out. So this way they know that you're on the website and that you're active and you really are serious about finding someone who you can enjoy and spend time with. Tip number eight, smile. Be pleasant. Be welcoming to them. Tip number nine, never, ever, 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 ever get sexual before you meet. You just don't know 
what signs you're missing. If you're not able to be in person and look at each other eye to eye, really size up your bodies, how you feel about each other, if you're actually a match. That's a big step and it makes everything messy if you want to get out. Might help you if you want to stay in the relationship, but wait until you meet to make that decision. Tip number 10, expect rejection. This is a numbers game. It's, it's the same in lots of ways as going for a job interview. You're looking for a match. So it's going to take a few people to go through and find somebody that might work for you. I watched a video about an old woman who was bragging that she went on 17 dates after her husband died and she found the one that she wanted to live with for the rest of her life on the 17th date. 17 is quite a few at our age. So be patient and expect the rejection. And one more bonus tip for all of you who are still hanging around at this time. Thank you so much. My name is Alexis Hartz, and if you like this information, please like and subscribe and pass it on to somebody you think might benefit from it too. Tip number 11, don't have any expectations. Don't expect to meet your perfect match. Don't expect to meet the love of your life. Don't even expect to have a great first date. That way you're not disappointed and pleasantly surprised when you do find that person. Don't have any expectations. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Bye.